Good afternoon, boys and girls. It is a Friday. Friday. I don't have that Friday feeling because I'm ill, but fuck it anyway. Just watched um, Big Charlie Beach on Weaponized Compassion. Um, I love the big guy, right? Uh, I think we first had a proper interaction, like proper communication when I was dealing with a situation in Piccadilly Gardens where I had to um, politely restrain a very large gentleman who was um, being socially inappropriate. There we go. Now, I will always say, be prepared to put on the armor of God, carry his shield, and be ready to draw the sword at any time. And you guys might think, well, man, that's pretty heavy. No, it's not. If you have faith, and the more you have faith and the stronger you become in your faith, the more you are going to be tested. And this is a reality. The more you're going to be tested. Every demon that you've ever known within yourself will come to you and be physically manifested in front of you. Different situations, different forms, people and places. It will test you. It will test your faith. And you must be ready to fight mentally, physically and spiritually. And if you then have unconditional love for humanity, your fellow man, fellow woman, fellow child, be ready to fight because that's the reality, that's the truth. Many will come to take advantage, to abuse, to trick, to lie, to deceive and test your faith. Regardless of what your faith is or what your religion is, they're going to come. And the hardest realisation is they are a manifestation of something within yourself and myself that we have not yet faced and dealt with. This is a living, walking battlefield. A daily occurrence. Could be the guy that short changes you in the shop. Somebody looks at you wrong in the street and you get that fire inside because you feel like you have to do something. While you're driving, someone, you know, cuts you up. And you get that fire. How you deal with it then is up to you. It's all a test. It's a repeated test. Some tests will be very, very shocking. Very shocking. And people will judge you because of that. When you have faith and you have true faith, it will affect you. It will make you question everything to the point it will affect your mental health. It will affect so much that you feel that you are being torn to pieces. There is nowhere to turn. You are now lost in the desert where it is just you and your demons. But no one else can see that. Everyday people walking around doing their thing, having a look at you, you know, observing you, doing your job or whatever it is you're doing. They may just see the very quiet, compassionate, you know, caring, gentle person but they don't understand what it's taken for you to be that very quiet compassionate compassionate caring gentle person they don't understand the battles that you've had to go through to be accepted as that person but at the same time they don't understand that there's a ferocity behind that and their will to fight at the drop of a hat to protect the person who you now are and people will always doubt that you are now that person because obviously everyone has a past i have a past and they will always question it and they'll go, well, is it really like that? And they will send out things and they'll send out vibrations and they'll send out negativity and to see how you respond. And it can be mentally and physically draining. So Big Charlie Beach, a lot of respect for you, man. I've seen you change over the years and I've seen you fight your demons. And I've seen you reflect on things you have done and accept your mistakes and move forward. Awesome. Like I say, if you have true compassion, true empathy and unconditional love, 
but on the armour of God, pick up a shield and be prepared to draw the sword at any time. Because you will be tested, and they will come in all shapes and sizes, and they will not let you go. Because they can't accept that you're now elevated, your vibration has changed, you're growing, you're expanding, you're letting go. They can't accept that. They can't understand how you can give without question, and it's tiring sometimes and help without question, and it's tiring sometimes. And people will repeatedly come back and repeatedly come back because they don't learn the lesson that you've given them. And sometimes it has to change. And you have to draw that sword. Peace and blessings on you all. Always remember, boys and girls, when the darkness comes, if you need someone to stand by your side, I'm here and you are not on your own when those demons step up. Strength and honour.